So I have a recipe for perfect for summer. It's um, remember those slushies in the gigantic machines that were at convenience stores when we were kids, and there was um, I think watermelon and blue raspberry, and there were those horrible fluorescent colors, and they were so super sweet. And you know that nothing is that color unless it's like red and blue dye number forty twenty whatever it is. So we can make slushies that are clean. Um, and they're perfect for the summer. You can add tons of protein powder. You can add your nourish and move into it and make um, a morning slushy and you have a protein packed meal basically. And it's super easy. So what I have here in this blender is about a half bowl of ice cubes or you could also use frozen fruit, but this is just super easy. All you need is ice cubes. Anybody can make ice cubes. You can make ice cubes. If you, if you don't have ice cube trays, you can just do it in little um, muffin tins, anything you have. You can make ice cubes, anybody can. So there's ice cubes. And then I have um, carob powder. You could also use raw cacao powder. I'm going to take a tablespoon of carob or cacao. And this is maca powder. It is um, a superfood. It's really, really high in... Um, uh, it's an adaptogen, so it, it helps fight stress, it um, builds strength, it is um, high in amino acids, and it has lots of vitamins and minerals in it, so it's a really delicious addition. And it has like a malted flavor, so it's really good in, in things that makes it malty and delicious. So a tablespoon of maca. And then um, this is nourish powder that I just have while I'm traveling. It is, you could also use... Um, like Vega protein powder or Warrior food or any protein powder that's soy, sugar, um, all the, and make sure it doesn't have soy, sugar, all that kind of stuff in it. Um, it's protein powder. Oh, you can also use hemp seeds. You could use nuts. You could throw anything in that gives it a little bit of added protein, um, but it's just if you have your nourish powder and you're making your smoothie or whatever in the morning or a really hot summer night, this is a great thing to make at night too. So that, and then you could either throw in like one or two dates, you could put in a little bit of agave, um, we recommend maybe staying away from agave, so try stevia instead. I would use this sweet leaf, it's the liquid stevia, this happens to be English toffee, there's a million different flavors, there's also just plain stevia, you can buy it in leaf form, you can buy it in powder form, that's um, a good addition, I would recommend that over agave, and um, almost more than dates, dates are really high in sugar, they're fine a little bit, but, but this works well, so just a dropper full, you don't need very much, it's really sweet. And, oh, um, and then I will take a glass. Whatever size glass you want to um, fill, you're going to put maybe three quarters of water. Not that much. Pour it in the blender. You can also add a pinch of sea salt, um, which I did not, but that would add a little bit of flavor to it. Sea salt, just a tiny bit, always heightens the flavor of anything, whether it's sweet or um, anything. Especially good with chocolatey, caraby things. Uh, super easy. Till it's frothy. Pour it in. You can add, see it's a little chunky. It's slushy. You can add more, um, ice if you want it really, really slushy and definitely not as much water and mm. oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so good. And it's not a horrible from a machine slushy. You made it in your own blender and it took literally five seconds. It was really good.